Hi everybody, welcome. In today's quick tips, we're gonna be talking about the white Thanksgiving cactus. This beautiful blooming beauty before you. And we're gonna be going beyond the basics and talk to you about how you can enjoy her in your home. So, are you all ready to dig in? Let's grow. The white Thanksgiving cactus here goes by the botanical name Schlumbergera truncata white. We also have the beautiful red over here. And behind me up there is the pink. These guys are already going on their third blooming cycle. We're already into February and they're still just loving it. And I think it's because we've been pushing up the light a little bit because they went through a wonderful blooming cycle around Thanksgiving time, the name for this plant, because that's when they typically flower. But they just went bonkers and started flowering again. We recently acquired the white, so we're super excited about her. And she went bananas, you all. Just look at them. Look at all these blooms. They're so beautiful. This plant is a spectacular houseplant. We've done videos on this plant already. And what we'll do now is I'm gonna show you up close these flowering, this, this beautiful array of white flowers and tell you a little bit about plant care. We've also already done an in-depth video. You can always check to our channel and we'll, we'll leave a little link down below. But I just want to bring you up close so you can see and so you can see and enjoy this beautiful wonder. The white is more rare, and so we're super happy to get her. But she has just just knocked us out with these flowers. And it's been flowering for over a week, and we're so happy. So so happy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring you in up close, and then we'll talk to you about the plant in general, and then we'll go over some other cool features about the plant in a minute. I mean, come on, you all, look at these blooms. Aren't they beautiful? They're white with this beautiful pink and light creamy yellow center. So, so cute. Another cool feature about the Thanksgiving cactus is that they have these modified leaf stems that actually photosynthesize for the plant. So it acts both as a leaf and a stem. And on the Thanksgiving cactus, they're more pointed and point outwards. On a Christmas cactus, those are more rounded and truncated in a different way. So they're they're similar, but you can definitely tell the difference on the Thanksgiving because it's much more pointed on those tips and it's easy to tell them apart that way. Caring for the white Thanksgiving cactus is the same as caring for the red or the pink or the other varieties out there. You wanna give them high light. And what we have been doing lately is giving ours north of a thousand foot candles, but you've gotta be careful with lighting because on ours, one of ours got a little bit too much sunlight and it, and it got direct sunlight because we have ours face on a west facing window and it burns some of the edges of the leaves. But we do think that the extra light has helped give more energy to the plant, and they went through this triple blooming cycle, the pink and red in particular. And we're just loving it because it's such an inviting plant. It catches you from across the room. You know, on plant styling, these things are gonna catch your attention. One thing you're gonna to wanna to do with your Thanksgiving cactus is rotate her every three months or so, about 90 degrees, to give her a well-balanced look. And on soil, we like this mix, seven parts cactus mix, two parts worm castings, one part perlite, and a teaspoon of mycorrhizal, we like the Bigfoot brand, if you're gonna be up potting her. We're gonna be doing a propagation video on the Thanksgiving cactuses here down the road, so please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so, so you don't miss out on that video. It's super easy to propagate this plant and we can't wait to share that with you. But let me go back into a little bit more about taking care of the plant on watering now. You wanna water her every seven to nine days from January to September, the growing season, and then you wanna throttle that back and water every 14 days or so until the blooms start. Once the blooms arrive, typically around Thanksgiving, Christmas time, you can go back to the seven to nine day watering, and then after she's done flowering, you can put in a liquid 2020 fertilizer from April through September, that's when she's growing, you wanna put energy into the plant so she can keep growing and get ready to set blooms. And you can also add a half teaspoon of Epsom salts in September. That, that tends to help her set up for getting a nice strong blooming cycle. She does well in temperatures in the home between 60 and 80 degrees, it's no problem indoors. And she can handle a humidity of 40%, typical of an indoor home with AC, but she wants north of that if you can. And what we have done in ours is we've uh, installed Leck at the base of our outer cash pole containers. And when we water our plants, that water goes down into Lekka below and the Lekka absorbs that water and then it evaporates out and it helps bring up more moisture 
and humidity for the plants. So we, we, we really like that process that we've done. You can also add a pebble tray and that will help with humidity. On pests, we haven't had any issues whatsoever, but you do have to watch out for mealybugs and spider mites. And you can use neem oil to control that. I mean, look at these blooms. Aren't they beautiful? So vibrant. And this would make a great plant for a wedding, I think. My sister Mary Nell actually is a florist in Bradenton, and I'm gonna talk to her and see if there's a way that she could in the future, maybe with some of her clients, use the thing, the white Thanksgiving cactus as a way of having it as a table, table ornament or something to celebrate a wedding because it's just a beautiful, beautiful white flowering house plant. And these are another thing I want to share with you about this plant is that she's native to the rainforest of Brazil. So I'm gonna ask someone to help say something in Portuguese for you. Hey Siri, repeat that. Esta bela planta de casa será uma adição maravilhosa à sua casa. So what I asked Siri to say is, we hope that this makes a wonderful addition to your home, this house plant. I hope she said it right. Please let me know if, if she didn't say that right. And I wanted to practice and say that in Portuguese, but I know I'd be, I would be inviscerated by my sister-in-law Paola and Tasha who are, who are Brazilian and I didn't want to mess it up. I just love this plant. They're very long lived and they're just a wonderful addition. So, so cool. And these truncated leaves, these modified stems are just beautiful. Thanksgiving cactus will do great as a centerpiece on a table like we have here. You just have to make sure you give her plenty of room because she's about 18 inches across and tall right now. And that's gonna take up quite a bit of room. Or you could put her on a pedestal like we have here just for showing this video with you. But I would get like a taller pedestal up to about three, three and a half feet and then let her sit up there and cascade. Or you could put her in a hanging basket and that would be a really cool way to show off the plant as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. We hope you can get your hands on one of these lovely young ladies. They're just beautiful, beautiful houseplants. Can't get enough of them, as you know. Just love them. So until the next video, bye. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family. We post videos weekly. Thanks.